Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to Jargon Free Help. So one of the things that I do quite often is use my smartphone, like this iPhone, to scan in documents such as things like this. And it's really great because it will detect the edges of the page and I can also scan in multiple pages. So how does it work? Well, I've got Acrobat Reader on here. There's also an app called Adobe Scan. You can get, you can use either one of them and you can do this just by simply opening up Acrobat Reader like this and you'll see here in the bottom right hand corner it's got a plus sign and if I tap on that I then just tap on scan and tap on the camera here and you'll see that as I move the phone over it will detect the edges of the page and automatically capture it if I'm holding it steady. That didn't quite do it very well. Let's do that again. And you can see it's now got two pages in there. I can just simply stop by just tapping on the bottom right hand corner on those little images and you'll see it's now come up and I can see both of those pages. I don't need both of them. I think this one I can get rid of and there's a delete button in the bottom right hand corner and if I tap on that I can just delete that page. So you can scan in pages, you can delete them. I can also crop it to the right size if it didn't do it properly. And you'll see it's got a little rectangle here. It's like the third one from the left. If I tap on that, you'll see I can adjust the edges and it will automatically, if I tap on it, will straighten it, which is great. So these are really good and you can send them. You can just then press save PDF in the top right hand corner that's saving it. So I can share it, I can actually email it by just tapping there, I can share it on email, which just then takes me through the normal email process and actually puts it in as an attachment. I can also do share a copy. Now, I've got Adobe Creative Cloud, which allows me to save it anyway, and it should do it automatically, save it to the cloud, but I could also save it to something else. So if I'm using Dropbox, I can tap on share a copy here, and you'll see there's many other options. So it includes save to Dropbox, save to files, which would put it in my iCloud. I can do a copy, I can print it and so on. So there are your options for doing it. But what's really great is it doesn't really matter that it has to be a standard sort of page size like this. It can be something like this manual. So if I just tap here again to capture it, you can see that is not a normal page size and it is going to capture it. And I do this with till receipts as well, which can be much longer. They're not, certainly not like an A4 size page. So anything you like, you can just scan away and do that. So let me just do that again. So there we go, it's got the manual. You just gotta hold it steady for a moment and it's captured it. And if I tap on it, look at that. It's absolutely perfect. Well, it's really good. So do you need a scanner? Possibly not. They're always handy to have, good for scanning photographs and things like that. But on the go, this does a really good job. Thanks for watching and see you next time.